Hi, this time we'll go through Eric Exposito statistics and find out why you need to keep an eye on this guy. Before kicking off, do subscribe to our channel for more football analytics content, tutorials and updates. So the first questions, question that comes to anyone's mind is why Eric Exposito? To answer this question, I will show you his goals and assist the statistics and dynamics. So, Eric played 12 games, scored 11 goals and made 3 assists, all in Polish league. Look, looks quite impressive to me. What do you think? Write in the comments. So, who is actually Mr. Eric Exposito? He's a football player from Tenerife, Spain, who played in several roles in the attack, but his heart lies in the center of attacking efforts of his team. Eric Exposito currently finds his home at Slask Wroclaw, a Polish club from Poland. Like I mentioned before, this season he has made 12 appearances, displaying his goal-scoring power with a remarkable 11 goals and contributing to team play with 3 assists. His contract is expires next summer, making Eric an ideal target for teams in search for classical, classic center forward. Now, let's go to the market value and transfers. We see that Eric's current market value is close to his highest one. However, after this season, it may comfortably outgrow previous record. Yet, we see that his contract expires this summer, so we, uh, he may leave Poland as a free agent, agent if his team don't hurry up signing a new one. Uh, now, let's uh, have a look at scoring statistics. Uh, we see that uh, he played 12 games, he scored 11 goals, made 3 assists, and he has almost 8 expected goals number value. Uh, note that he scored 5 penalties out of 11 goals, so his non-penalty expected goals number is way lower. Now, he scored 9 of his 11 goals from left foot because he's left uh, footed. He scored 2 headers. He made 35 shots and shots of target uh, share was close to 66%. Quite impressive to me, I think. Now uh, let's jump to the passing and dribbling statistics, which you may see on your screen. Uh, his uh, passes accuracy is 62%. His share of progressive passes is close to one third or 30%. He made 13 key passes and uh, his uh, dribble success rate is 55.5%, which is okay, I suppose. Now let's jump to duels and interception statistics, which you can see on your screen. Uh, his duels and air duels uh, won uh, share is close to 44-45% both. And uh, he makes uh, on average uh, 0 0.25 inter successful interception per match. And uh, jumping to other statistics, we may uh, notice that he covers usually uh, almost 10 kilometers per match. He makes seven sprints per match and he's quite fast uh, since his highest speed was uh, a bit about 34 kilometers per hour. He had uh, three yellow cards, which is not that much given he played 12 games. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's jump to the radar with uh, the, the major statistics. Uh, it's basically the same statistic, the same numbers, but uh, in different way of uh, visualizing. Not that the lower and higher boundaries of this chart have nothing to do with comparison to other players and average numbers. So if a number stands in the middle of a circle, it doesn't mean it's somewhere in the middle comparing to others. Well, there is also 
another chart which uh, depicts the same statistical information but in more visual uh, way uh, for some people it's more convenient to see and to analyze a statistic this way so basically that's all about eric for today to continue watching content like this don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more football analytics content tutorials and updates if you enjoyed this video you can also support me by buying me a virtual coffee on buymeacoffee.com the link is on your screen thank you for being a part of, of this channel i look forward for sharing more exciting discoveries and content like this in the future until then keep exploring the beautiful game through the lens of data and analytics cheers